At the G7 summit in May, leaders of the world's biggest economies agreed to move forward on a new framework to tax big tech companies on the profits they make in the countries where they make them. Now that plan has the backing of the countries of the OECD. This will have an effect on some big South Korean companies like Samsung and chip maker SK Hynix, but the Korean government doesn't think the impact will be big, at least for now. So In Gyeong reports. Global leaders have agreed to overhaul the international tax system to ensure that large multinational companies pay a fair share of tax in the countries where they operate. The OECD says on Thursday that 130 out of 139 countries, which account for 90 percent of the global GDP, have agreed on a two-part tax plan. The first pillar aims to tax companies, mainly multinational tech giants, based on where their profits are generated rather than where the company's headquarters are and where earnings are declared. The new tax rule will initially apply to companies with more than $23 billion U.S. dollars of revenue and a pre-tax profit margin of more than 10 percent. Around 100 multinationals are expected to be subject to this. The OECD says the new tax rule could bring in $100 billion of extra tax revenue. The second pillar intends to protect countries' tax bases and make it harder for companies to use tax havens. The global minimum corporate income tax under the second part is set at 15 percent. The OECD projects that this could generate around $150 billion of additional revenue globally each year. Korean companies, Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix, could be impacted by the first pillar of the tax reform. They will have to pay tax in countries where they provide services when having a pre-tax profit margin higher than 10 percent. However, the Ministry of Economy and Finance said the newly proposed plan will not cause a significant increase in the actual tax burden on Korean companies. The introduction of Pillar 1 will make companies pay additional tax to countries where they provide services beside the tax paid in the home country. However, the impact will not be significant because of adjustments to stop double taxation. A more detailed agreement will be finalized by October 2021 at the G20 meeting and could come into effect by 2023. Seo Eun-kyung, Arirang News.